Hey, it's Nina Nevsky with Worship Piano Tutorials, and today I want to show you how to play the song Here With You by Hillsong. Such a beautiful song, and I'm going to go through the entire song, and then I'll go through the details with you. So. When the sunlight breaks and the day has just begun From the dust I made with the calling on my life And you planned a way to fabric of my heart It's too Reaching out with open hands, you find me on my knees. Fill me with your peace again, forever I am alive. Freedom reigns in me, forever you are. Oh,
And then you end it off. Guys, I can get so carried away with this. This is like so fun for me. I love singing. I love playing. And um, if you saw what I did here at the end, I just kind of improvised. And I can actually show you exactly how to do that. And how to end off a song in a happy note where it doesn't leave people kind of, you know, hanging like uh, what's happening here. Um, you can go to pianoministrycourse.com where I teach all of that. So now let's go through the entire song and break it down for you. So the introduction, the four chords for the introduction and for the verses are D minor, F, C, and G. So this is in the key of C, all white keys. This is such a beautiful um, <laughs> song key. I love it. There's no black keys we're dealing with. Okay, so those are the four chords. And um, what you saw me do is I did some inverted chords. So I did D minor as an inverted chord. And the reason why I love inverted chords so much, even though I know sometimes for beginners it's hard to grasp, um, I love inverted chords because I don't have to move my hand as much. But watch, with the D minor here, I have to move my hand to the F, move my hand over to the C, move my hand back to the G. And it gets kind of annoying and I can't close my eyes and I can't look around when I constantly have to kind of keep my eyes on what I'm playing. But if I'm playing like the G, I mean the D minor inverted and then the F, look, I just switched one finger. Like inverted chords are literally magical. Like it's incredible. So you got the D minor, this is an inverted, inverted F. And then you have a C, which I'm just playing like this. And then I'm leaving this for the G as well. It creates a D sus suspended chord, so watch, so. F, C, I guess you could play C like this inverted. So did you see what I did there with the G? F, C, G. See how that made it like a suspended G? Sounds really pretty. Um, so one thing, I'm going to show you the beginner version. You could just play the D minor like that, the F. Sounds great too. C, the regular G. Again, D minor. So very basic. Bass. That's kind of the pattern. And then you go into the verse and the vo verse you can make it a little quieter than the introduction um, just because it is the first verse um, I'm playing it really calmly like uh, sunlight breaks and the day has just begun and then at the end of the line I kind of fill in because I don't want it to be super empty I just want it to be empty when I'm singing sunlight breaks and the day has just begun So notice the um, second half of the verse, I'm kind of playing it, um, I'm playing the first initial chord loud and then quiet. So that way I'm not like, um, it's not too loud I'm pressing loud first time and super quiet the second time so still I wait for your voice to lead me on. so that's a little detail all right so with the verses then we go straight into the chorus here let me do that um home and it off G F here now with you so chorus chords are different you have a F first a G, a A minor, and then you have a G over B, and a C really fast. And then you have a F, everything I, and then you uh, have a G, will never be, and then an A minor, without you. And then again, you have a G slash B and C really quick. So G over B, C. And then back to F. 
and you have a little instrumental here with a G as well. And you move on with to verse two. So again, uh, going through the chorus in detail. So you have a F. Here I'm now with you. A G. I have heaven in me. Everything's changed and I will never be without you. So the challenging thing about this verse is the G over B chord and the C and they just happen so quickly together. So what I like to see it as is the entire chorus, I'm just playing with my left hand, I'm doing F, G, A, B, C, again F. So if you literally just place your hand here on the left, I mean, uh, sorry, left hand, if you place it on the F, all of your five fingers should have a note that they're playing and you're literally just playing them in a row. That's how you can think of it. And then with your right hand, it's a little harder to catch up, but if you're using an inverted C, it's gonna be that much easier. So watch F. So watch G chord everything over B and for C all I'm doing is I'm switching these two fingers over to instead of here I'm switching them to here everything is changing I this is why I love inverted chords or you could do everything is changed everything is changing I you can also flip the entire chord and just go to the C chord you don't have to do the inverted one but the inverted one is much easier so everything is changing I instrumental and then a G and I like to do a little bit of arpeggio flowy style here from the dust of me with the on my life. so notice in verse 2 I'm coming in a lot more powerfully with the piano um, so the instrumental gives it a nice little break little quiet break got the G and then bam with the dust on me So just very um, pressing twice with my right hand, um, making it very nice and loud, um, just so that you know there's you know it's more powerful. Anyway, and then you go to I lift my eyes to the one who gave it all. End it off with a G and repeat that again, and it's like it's sort of like a powerful thing. Um, and then going into the chorus again, same chords, but you're definitely playing them a lot louder. So, with you. you can even put a little bit of that flowy style. If you're not comfortable with the flowy style, you could kind of press them more. With you. I have in me. Everything is changing now. Know that there's options you can you know play the flowy style you can make it more powerful um, you can include suspended chords a little bit more in here um, especially for that G um, so that's the chorus and then after that you have a little instrumental and um, you just have that G I mean the F that's when you get to the C that's where you start the bridge so that's another section of the song and the chords for that are D minor F and you have your C and G and that kind of repeats until the last line so actually no it stays the same on the last line all right so the way you start that is you do the uh, instrumental see me in the fire so notice how I started on that last C of the instrumental. So you see me in the fire. This is D minor. F. Reaching 
This is where I like to build up by pressing on the bass notes a lot more. Forever I am doing that um if you want that loudness if you don't have a bass player you can always include that with the bass notes and build up like that anyway that's the entire song hope you enjoyed playing it um it is definitely beautiful and i will see you in the next song tutorial bye